Okay, welcome, welcome to LinuxHint.com YouTube channel. So in this video, we're gonna show you that how you can install WordPress on your Ubuntu 19.04. So the idea is that you can install um, the same WordPress version on other versions of uh, Ubuntu as well. So for example, if you're using 18.04, 18.10, do not worry, it would work. Okay, so follow the exact steps that I am following and they would work as similar as they're working here okay so let's get started so uh, first of all open your browser and in here what you need to do that you need to type in the wordpress website wordpress.org you hit enter and in here you would see the button here uh, get wordpress so you click on it so it would take you on the download page so you can download it directly from here by pressing this button or you can download it by using the command as well so what you can do is that you can right click on it you can copy the link location and uh, then you would press ctrl alt t as we always do to open up our terminal then we are going to zoom in a little bit and after that we're going to use a command named as wget okay so wget and then you're going to paste the link the exact wordpress link that we have copied you hit enter and it starts to download that wordpress folder okay so it would download it and after downloading it we would extract it because it is a zip file right so after extracting we are going to copy this folder and we're going to paste it in the www directory inside the html folder okay then we'll try to access it um, through our Apache server uh, using the local host address. Okay, so now it is, you know, it has been downloaded. So now what you can do is that you can ls right here. And you can see that in our home directory, we have latest.zip. Okay, so what we can do is that we can extract in two fundamental ways. We can uh, extract it from the command line in the terminal or we can right click on it and uh, we can click on this button extract here okay so now you can see that it has been extracted so if we go into the latest we can see that we have a wordpress folder here okay so what we want to do is that we actually want to copy this wordpress folder uh, and we want to paste it in here inside this variable folder vr folder and we would go to this triple w directory and then we would go inside this html directory so we want uh, to paste that word wordpress folder here okay so in order to do that what you would do is that uh, you'd go back to your terminal and uh, you'd write here cp first of all we want to go inside the latest folder okay so for that what we would do is um for, first of all let me do ls one once once more and you can see that we have latest here okay so for that you would do cd latest and you hit enter and now you are inside the latest folder so if you ls here you can see that we have the only wordpress folder inside of that so now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna write here sudo cp and then you're gonna write here negative r for recursive and then you're going to write here wordpress and then you're going to copy it to the path which is uh, var slash triple w slash html okay so this is the command that you're going to write and what it's gonna do is it uh, that it is going to copy this wordpress folder inside this html directory okay so you hit enter it is going to ask you for the password so you Put in your password and you can see that it has not given us any error so it means that now the wordpress folder has been copied uh, to this path so what we can do is that we can go here and we can see that wordpress folder is right here so now once you get your wordpress folder here now you can go back to your browser and uh, you can go to your local host so after going to your local host what you can do is that you can uh right here localhost slash wordpress okay like this and you hit enter so when you hit enter you will see a page like this okay so it says uh, these are the things that you need to enter database name database username uh, password 
and then you have to enter the host and then the table prefix so let's go okay so when we go here we can see that here we have the database name so before uh, having here the database name what we can do is that we can create a database name uh, going into uh, our terminal okay so we'd we'll go back to our terminal first of all here so the idea is that you have to have lamp stack on your ubuntu system installed so um, if you do not have lamp stack on your system as of now so um, go ahead install it we have already created a video in which we have shown you that how you can install lamp stack so if you haven't watched that that video and if you don't have lamp stack on your ubuntu system uh, lamp stack means apache mysql and php my admin and php obviously so if you don't have that uh, i'm going to put the link in the description go ahead click on that video and watch that video install lamp stack and then come back to this video okay so now what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to go to mysql so i'm going to write here mysql negative u is for username and then root and then obviously negative p is for password so now i'm going to put in the password not of uh, my admin password my account password but i'm going to put in here the mysql password that i have given at the time of the installation of mysql okay so i put in that password and now um, you can see that i am here in the mysql console so now i'm going to write here show databases and uh, i put a semicolon here i hit enter and you can see that these are the databases which are already uh, present here what i can do is that i can create a new database let's say i create here create database uh, wordpress okay or i can call it wp okay i put a semicolon here i hit enter and you can see that it says query okay one row affected it means that wp database has been created so in order to confirm that what I can do, I can come here and uh, I can write here show databases and you can see that we have a database named as WP right here. So now uh, I'm just going to quit my SQL. So now I'm, I'm coming out of it. I have come out of it, my SQL. Okay. So now I can go back here and uh, I can put in here the database name, which is essentially WP. I can put in the username, which is root for my SQL. I can put in my password okay and then i can i can keep the database host name as localhost i can keep the table prefix as wp okay now i will click on submit and you can see that it says sorry but i can't write the wp-config.php file okay so i think that this is the issue so uh, instead of copying this file um, i was actually looking at this error and i tried doing it but in my case it didn't work for some reason okay so what you can do is that you can follow this procedure if it works well and good if it doesn't i was actually going through the internet to see that what was the issue so i figured it out that there is just one single command that you can read and uh, it would work uh, just fine okay so what you can do is that you can go to your terminal and in here you can write this simple command which is sudo chown negative r and then you can write here www hyphen data www hyphen data okay you can have a colon between them and then you can give a space here and then you're gonna write here uh, slash var slash ww slash html so basically you are changing the ownership so what you're doing here is basically you are changing the ownership of groups here for this uh, slash var slash www slash html directory okay so now you hit enter and you can see that it has not given us any sort of error okay so what you can do is that you can now come back here and uh, okay it gives an error so we can go back to localhost slash wordpress we hit enter and it brings us here 
So now what you can do that you can select the language here as English. Uh, you come here, you continue it and then you come back again to this page. Okay. So now uh, you click on let's go and in here you can change the database name as WP, the database that we have created and then you can put in here the username which is essentially root and then you can type in the password name for MySQL. You keep everything the same localhost WP slash the table prefix uh, you click on submit and after clicking on submit you can see that it says all right. Uh, and then you can run the installation you click on the running installation button and you come on this page okay so now you can type in here the site title let's say i put in here linux hint and then the username uh, it can have only alphanumeric characters spaces underscore so you have to follow it so i write here linux hint and then it is a password so let me just keep this uh, let me just hide the password and then let me just put in my own password so let's say i write here my password a very strong one so it says it's medium so now you can put in here your email so i'm gonna write here my email and um, then i can come here and i can click on install wordpress okay so when i click on install wordpress it starts to install it and you can see that it has basically um worked okay so i can press on the login button and i can come here um i can put in here my username and then uh, i can put in here my password okay so let me just retype it So after putting in my password, I click on the login button and it allows me to log in into the WordPress. So you can see that this is my uh, WordPress that has been installed successfully on my Ubuntu system. So in order to check if that have been installed correctly, so you can go to the appearances and you can try selecting any theme and you can actually see the live preview. So if you have if you're having the live preview of a theme, um, basically it means that the WordPress is working. OK, so the other features probably they are going to work as well. So now in, in here you can create all sorts of website and you can actually activate and publish them. So that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. For written articles, you can visit our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video.